Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Friday, October 24th. It's the 19th week after Pentecost and week 2 in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 39, verse 9 to 24, and Luke chapter 10, verse 38 to 42. And please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. We are God's people, we God's care, our souls and all our mortal frame. What lasting honor shall we Open my lips, thy mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, have mercy on me, for I am in trouble. Alleluia, Psalm 39. And please recite together with me. Alleluia, have mercy on me, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with grief. So is my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief and my years with sighing, and my strength fails because of my sins, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to my acquaintances, and they that see me avoid me. I am forgotten like the dead out of mind. I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many, and fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. But I trusted in you, O God. I said, You are my God. Many times my times are in your hands. Deliver me from my enemies and from them that persecute me. Shine your face on me. Save me for your love's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O God for I have called on you. Let the wicked be ashamed. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things, proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. How great your goodness, which you have laid up for them that fear you, which you have wrought for them that trust in you before the children of the earth. You shall hide them in the secret of your presence from the pride of the mortals. You shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed are you, for you have shown me marvelous kindness in a besieged city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my supplications when I cried to you. Love God, all you saints, for God preserves the faithful and repays to the full the proud. Be of good courage, and God shall strengthen your heart. All of you hope in God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Have mercy on me, for I am in trouble. Alleluia. A lesson from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 10, beginning at verse 38. Now as they went on their way, Jesus entered a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister named Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he was saying. But Martha was distracted by her many tasks. And so she came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her then to help me. But Jesus answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken from her. 
Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please say the response after each verse. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning, for you are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever and for all of your intentions. Together. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Strengthen our hearts and preserve your faithful, O God Most High, as we place our hope in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.